Hello Tube, this is Alexander again, and maybe today is a nice day for electronic. I had to search a nice op amp for my purpose to increase the sensitivity of a arcade Chinese voltmeter for a sample dual disk paper supply. And like usually I do, I purchase it from junk and scrap company, and I will be pretty sure that I never be counterfeited. But like I used to do, I need a little coffee before jumping the chalk. This is an industrial card, exactly what we call an intrinsic safety card. It repeats the signal on entry to the output with the height galvanic protection. In some other words, this is a piece of art from the junk. This is the LM358M, M like for military component, according to the datasheet. This circuit consists of two op amps designed to operate from a single power supply over a wide range of voltage. It can be directly supplied with 5V, which is used in logic. Here you have high precision resistor, which can be useful for calibrate anything you want. Here you have a TL08 for AC and high voltage GFET and the bipolar transistor in a monolithic integrated circuit. It's still expensive, $4 the piece. This is the LM358N, the same than the M but with a lower specs, in different package. Here it is what I suppose it to be a 8 frequency bridge. It needs to be tested for to be sure. Here you have a toroidal transformer, useless here because it's specified for purpose of this card. Sometimes the toroidal need to be a custom build. An LM324 from Texas Instrument, four independent height gain frequency compensated operational amplifier that are designed specially to operate from a single supply or split supply over a wide range of voltage. Here we can see ceramic PCB module, which contains mainly op amp 2 Unfortunately, I didn't find any datasheet on those chip. Here there is the 358M, which work in several conditions, able to fulfill height requirements. Here underneath this resistor we can see a height precision op amp, quite expensive. It's not the same reference between two cards, even they fit the same area. And beside we can find a 10 voltage reference, LH0070. You can also see height precision common resistor. But what? A voltage reference on this junk? I will think to my op amp another time. I hurry to desolder it and connect according to the datasheet. Very easy, like a simple regulator. It's not too cheap. It seems as an analog device and linear technology are same manufacturer. I guess. I don't really know. Until 10 milliamps output. You can drive thousands of millimeter with it. The schematic to use is very simple, so simple that I can check it immediately. Wide voltage on entry, 11 volts entry are required, 12 volts will be perfect. That's not specified on the datasheet, but the H version means a good behavior in the time and with the temperature. It's also gold plated on the bottom. Apparently this is not just a transistor. The other component beside, on other card, which can change from card to card is a AD517KH from analog device, which is a height quality op amp designed for multimeter, metrology, height degree equipment. It seems to be very old but still very expensive, even on eBay. Laser trimmed, please. Amazing, but I am interested more by the voltage reference. I need to supply this voltage reference with a lithium battery, so a boost converter is need. I don't really like to supply this kind of sensitive device with a switch power supply, but I will feature it a little bit and my first test will be decisive. I am simulating a lithium battery with my power supply, supplying the boost module. And you can read a very stable value, despite the so-called noise coming from the booster. And the consumption is only 2 mA. I am thinking on which board I will mount it, using my multimeter checker or using another clean PCB for that. Or maybe trying to mount it on a component tester 
and using the onboard battery, so I don't have to think to another battery this time. There is no much place, hopefully the booster is tiny and I need to make it very tight. Here is the most little PCB I have ever made. There is a micro LED, two resistors and two capacitors. For the probe, I recovered this plug coming from junk. They seem to be perfect for alligator clip and they are gold plated. Just soldering the wire for the supply and the wire for distributing the 10 volt reference. I just need to find the switch on lead of the button of the component thruster. Here it is, I have it. That's nice. The super glue is your best friend, be careful with that. It can provoke lots of damage on your carpet, your finger, your eyes, but it helps a lot. All is stucked, wired and filtered. I am very impressed by the ability of this little booster to drive anything without disturbing it. Finally, China make a very nice product when using them with a parsimony. Let's switch on. The micro LED is glowed, proof that the 10 volt output is ready. And see the result. Amazing and beautiful. This is how we search for LM 358 and take LH0070. I will think to improve my Chinese voltmeter with my op amp another time. Switch off. It was Alexander again. See you soon.